Agoyin Erev Shabbos, this is Gemar in Nazir, Daf Samoch, Baruch Hashem, into the month of Nisan, the month of Geula, with the completion of Nazir on the horizon, Baruch Hashem. We pick it up on the bottom of Nontes Amid Beis at the Mishnah. Hopefully, as we begin to read this Mishnah momentarily, this should sound very familiar, as we've already had this case of the Mishnah two different times. We had this back on Daphne and Hea Amid Beis and on Daphne and Zayin Amid Beis. And what's going to be today is really going to wrap it all up, a confusing case, a complicated case, and then we're going to add on more details today. So, without further ado, let's dive straight into the Mishnah. Says the Mishnah, Nazir Shayotamei Bisafek. We have a Nazir who's not sure if he's Tamei Mis and Umachla Bisafek. And as well, he's not sure if he is a Mitzayra Muchlat. Again, Mitzayra Musgar is when they lock up the Mitzayra with Yes Saras, he has leprosy. We don't know if he's Tamei, the Kayin's unsure. They lock him up for seven days. And then Mitzayra Muchlat is when the Kayin pronounces him Tamei. He's a confirmed, validated Mitzayra. So he's not sure. So we have two details that he's not sure about. Just to remind ourselves, a mitzayra is very similar dinim to a nazir. And the fact is, the shave his head, as we pointed out so many times, a mitzayra not only has to shave his head, has to shave his whole body, and he has to do the tiglachas two different times. The problem is, the mitzayra cannot perform his tiglachas, cannot shave his head, because a nazir is not allowed to shave his hair until his naziras finishes. And that is the reason why you have to wait until the Naziris potentially finishes. Then you could do Tiglachas, shave number one. Then you gotta wait another 30 days and you could do shave number two. But now we're not sure, wait, he might have been Tomei, he might have been Tomei May. So you gotta do Tiglachas number three. Then finally, the last portion of time is when he'll potentially be observing his Naziris. And then we have Tiglachas. Number four, how long does each Tiglachas take? So the minimum this year, as we know, is 30 days. So says the Mishnah, we're in a minimum case. After 60 days, after two Tiglachas, the Mitzayra aspect of this person is finished, and therefore he can eat Kachim. He can drink wine, he can become Tame Mace, he's finished being another after 120 days. Again, another 60 days necessary to get rid of the Nazirs. Why? Shatiglachas explains the Mishnah. Hanega doichel the tiglachas an nazir. The tiglachas of the nega, the mitzayra's obligation to shave himself, pushes away the nazir's obligation. Or I should say, pushes away the nazir's prohibition. The iser of a nazir to shave when pizman shehu vaday. When I have a vaday mitzayra. When I have a vaday mitzayra. Then that Vade Mitzayra could do what? Could be allowed to shave at the time of the Naziris. Why? Because the Asay, the positive commandment of the Mitzayra, pushes away the Nazira, something that we've spoken about extensively. But concludes the Mishnah, Avul Bismanchu, Safek, Einoi Toiche. When it's only a Safek, when we're not sure. We're not sure if this person is a Mitzayra. Therefore, it is not Toiche. And that is the reason why. You have 120 days. Again, we have Mitzayra number one after 30 days, because you have to wait 30 days, it might be a Nazir. So then you shave for your Tzaras, you wait another 30 days, and you finish off your Tzaras. That's your 60 days, he now can eat Kachim. Now we have to deal with the fact that he's a Nazir, but he might have been Tamei Meis. So you have to wait another 30 days, and then do the Tiglachas of Nazir from Tamei Meis. And then finally, you have the 30 days of the Nazir to Ahira. That is the din of the Mishnah. And the truth is, that din of the Mishnah, every single aspect of that din, we've already seen. But as we turn over to Samacham Abayz, what we're going to add in today is the din of the Karbanis. Excuse me, we just went to the wrong side. We like to show them a fireish. Excuse me, here we go. What we're going to add in today is we're going to add in the din of the karbanais of a nazir. So again, to remind yourself, a nazir brings an ayla, an ayla, an asham, and a shlamim. An ayla, yes, and a shlamim. Incorrect, let's say it again, I make the same mistake every time. An ayla, chatos, and a shlamim. 
Anazir Tame brings an Oila Chatos and an Asham. A Mitzayra has a special dinner bringing Shtetsi Pairim two birds. So that's what's going to happen today is we're going to play out the entire thing at length. When do you do the shaving? When do you bring the carbon ice, etc.? And of course, we remind ourselves, similar to the issue of the mitzayra, shaving, that is, shaving comes contrary to the Nazirus' prohibition to shave, is what happens with all the carbon ice. We run into a serious baya. What is the serious problem? And I realize that this is the wrong page. This is Samacham Abbas. So here's Samacham and Alf. The pages got flipped around. Okay. So, no problem. We will deal with it. But, Again, one more time, is that the problem with the carbonis is you can't bring carbonis besafik, some carbonis. Why not? Because if you're not chayv a carbon, certain carbonis, it's called chulin la'azara. You can't just bring an animal to the base of Migdash for no reason, unless it is a nidava and is an um, optional carbon, etc., which we're going to dive into right now. Says the Gemara, Samacham and Aleph Tana, we learned to the Mishnah. By Medvar Mamurim, this should sound familiar, but Nazir's Muatas. When does the din and the timeline, most particularly in our Mishnah of 6120, apply? By Nazirus, but that is a 30 day Nazirus. Avla Nazirus, Bas Shandav, Avla Nazirus of a year. So everything is multiplied by 12. Not after 60 days, but two years. Because you need one year for your Nazir to Tiglach is number one. Year number two for Tiglach is number two now of your Mitzayra. Year number three for potential Tomei Mace. Year number four for your Nazirus. Beautiful. But Tani Alan, we learned on this. Umegaleach Arba Tiglachis, which we spoke out in Mishnah. I don't know how many times you just said this, but this is the source where it all comes from. Tiglach Azri Shaina. Now, what do you do? Maybe it's the Poirim, the Chatos Oif, the Oilas Behema. At the first Tiglachas, which as we mentioned, is a Tiglachas for Mitzayra. Therefore, you bring the Tzipayrim, the two birds, which is what a Mitzayr brings as he becomes pure from his saras. And a Chatas Oif and Oilas Behima, which are the Karbanais of the potential Nezi Rois. We're going to explain how this is all possible. Sheini at the second Tiglachas, maybe Chatas Oif, Voilas Behima. Shalish is maybe chata zoi vayilas behim, but the same karban is each time. Meaning, the first time you bring the sepayrim, after that you just bring a chatas and an oila, and the revias you may be karban tahira. So now, says the Gemara, we're going to delve into all the karbanais. All the karbanais that we just mentioned in the previous price. Ten lines down, first one in line is Amrit. Amrit, Tiglach Zvishan Mevi, Vechulu. Says the Gemara, Mimanav Shach. Whichever way you look at it, Shapir Kamaisi. He is doing the good, he's doing right. So again, first one is Tutsi Pairim and then Chatas Ayla. The subsequent two Tiglach Yois are Chatas and Ayla. And the fourth is Karban Tahira. Now the Gemara is going to. Explain and again, what are our, all our variables? We have a Nizirus, we have a Mitzayra, a Suffolk, I should say, and a Suffolk to me, Mis. So says the Gemara, Diva de Mitzayru, Vilav Tameyu. If he's a Mitzayra, not to me, Mis, he prayed in Chavasai. Givaldik, he's obligated to bring the sea prayer, like every Mitzayra. Vachata Saif, how is it? Why is he bringing Chata Saif? It's a Suffolk. And what's the din of a chata soif that you bring me suffake? What's the suffake? The suffake is that he might have been to me mace. Azalik vura. It goes and it gets buried. It doesn't get. It goes and it gets buried. Right. It goes and it gets buried. Meaning you don't eat this chatas. Va'ila. Having a dava. And you're allowed to bring an ayla whenever you want. The ayla is a nidava. A voluntary carbon brought to the base of English. Ule Galchai. And then what happens? And then, excuse me, Ule Galchai Teich Sheva E. Efsher. He can't shave within seven days. Why not? The devil love Mukhlatu. Because it's a suffix if he's a full fledged Messiah. So maybe he's not a full fledged Messiah. Rahman Omar says the Torah with regard to Nazir. Tarli Avral Raishai. 
Ad Melois. So the Karbanais, he could bring right away, but he can't shave, so he has to wait to 30 days to do shaving number one. Now Gemara says, let's play the other variable. We love Mitzayir of Adayave. Let's say he was not really a Mitzayir, but what was he? Vutame. What was he? He was Tamei Mis. So Chata Zahiva Chayvasai. Ah, so now that Chatas he's bringing his Gavaldik, he has to bring a Chatas because he became Tame while he was a Nazir. So how can you bring Sibayrin? You're not a Mitzayra. How you allowed to bring the two birds? So this is the uniqueness of the birds, the state Sibayrin brought by a Mitzayra, is they're not actually brought, brought into the base of Migdash. They are Avroi Kamis Avidan. They're performed outside of the Mesa Migdash, and therefore there is no problem. Veloy have chulin ba'azara, and therefore you're not involved in the potential iser of bringing chulin la'azara. Why not? Because you're not bringing la'azara. It is shechted outside of the Mesa Migdash. And finally, vailas behem ahavoy nidava. Not a problem. So either, on either of the two options, if he's a Mitzayir or not, we could allow the Shtetzi Pairim, the Chatos, and the Oila. Now what's the third permutation? V'ilav Mitzayir hu, v'ilav Tamehu. So again, because you have two variables, you can either be not a Mitzayir, not a Nazir, or neither. So if you're not a Mitzayir and you're not Tamehu, Mace, so now it's Sipayri, now you bring the birds. Again, Avrei comes to done. They're brought outside the base of it's not a problem. Chata Saif, Likvura. You bury it, you don't need it. And Oilas Behema, Ave Chayvasai. Which, by the way, to point out, we're seeing something incredible about a Chatas, that your, your Yoytzi, your obligation with your Chatas, even if you're not going to eat it. Because what are you actually going to do with the Chatas is you're going to bury it. But we're saying either it's a good chatos, you're obligated, so you, you're makriv the chatos, and you got your kapara, or the chatos, you were not obligated, and so you bury it, and there is no problem. So that is how the Gemara explains step number one, all three potential variables in the first tiglachas, with the shteitzi bayrim, the chatos, and the oila. Ask the Gemara one second. Vabayasham! You need an asham. What do you need an asham for? You need an asham for the mitzayra. Every mitzayra needs a carbon asham. Answers the Gemara, five lines to the bottom. Rabbi Shimon, he. You know, we're going with Rabbi Shimon, Damar, Maisiu Masni. That you are bring you do bring an asham. You make it tonight, and you say either this should be an asham or this should be a shlamim for a nidava, which you're allowed to bring. That is step number one. Four lines from the bottom, Tiglachas, Shni, O Shlishes. At the second and third Tiglachas, which is respectively after 60 days and 90 days. See, by your inlights are, you don't have to bring birds anymore. Why not? Cause of it. You already took care of your birds. You already took care of your Mitzayra. So, my Ika Lemeimar. So, what are we worried about now? Vadai, Michael Lemeimar. Dilma. No, I, I, there's no word of Lemeimar. Don't throw in words. My Ika. So, again, what, let, let's go back. See, Byron lights are Ech David. So, my Ika, what are we worried about? Dilm of Vadai Muchlatu. Maybe this is a Matsaira Muchlat. Chada Lisafek Sifroi. So, now, if he brings a Chatos at this second Tiglachas, why is he bringing a, tigl- a chatas? Because, again, what's the din of a mitzvah? You shave your body two times. So you did one on the, t- on the potential that you're a vaday mochlat. You're going to have to shave again. And now you bring a carbon chatas. V'chadol is suffering to Masai. And now the other carbon is going to be for the suffix toma. So that is by the second and the third that he does not have to bring the shtetzi poirim because he already took care of it. He already took care of it. Now, to, to something we have, we have to speak out one dot one dot deeper, a little bit of uh, unspoken in the Gemara. The Gemara is saying, you brought your two birds at shaving number one. At shaving two and three, you don't bring two birds. What do you bring? An oila and a chatos. 
says the Gemara, wait, why don't you bring your two birds? So explains the Gemara, because even what's the only reason would be if you're a chat, if you're a you're not a chatas, if you're a mitzayra mochlat, you're confirmed mitzayra. But now, at both the second and the third, one of the karbanis that you bring is a chatas, is a chatas. So that chatas could potentially work in the tzad that you were still going to need your chatas. And finally, on the last line, Tiglach is maybe carbon tahira. On the last, Tiglach you bring your carbon tahira, U Masni. And you make the following stipulation as we turn over, right? Our pages got confused. As we turn over to Tamacham and Peace, explains the Gemara, what's the. Uh, excuse me, we're having, we are having technology issues. Please bear with me for a moment. That's, we're having a problem here. Okay, here it is. So says the Gemara, V'ivad nazir. So now we're explaining the fourth Iglachas. We explain the first, you bring the Shtei Tzibar and the Chathas and Ayla. We explain the second that you bring the Chathas and the Ayla. And the third that you bring the Chathas and the Ayla. And now we're up to number four. Says the Gemara, V'i v'adai nazeru, on the fourth tiglachas, if you are a v'adai nazir, it meaning, if any of at the previous stages you actually were a nazir, oila rishayna, chayva, then you already brought an oila, that was a chayva, v'zu nidava, and the carbon you're bringing now, at the fourth tiglachas, is a nidava. V'itame, and if previously you were a tame, you mukhlat, or you were a then oila rishayna is a nidava, v'zu chayva. V'zeh shar karbanoi, and the chatas and the ashlamim are the rest of his karbanoi. So that is how this incredible case of the suffix Mitzayra, Suffolk, Tamei Mace, it's side for the four Tiglachas, the 120 days, these are the Karbanas that he brings at each juncture. Says the Gemara, four lines down, Tamei Suffolk, Umochlat. Now we have a new case. In case it wasn't confusing enough, now we have a new case. Till now we've been dealing with a Suffolk Toma and a Suffolk Mochlat. Now, says the Gemara, what if we have a Safeg Toma, but Umuchlat, we know for sure he is a Mitzayra. So in this case, Umuchlat Vada, excuse me, four lines down, Oichal Bekadshim, Lachar Shemayne Yamim. What's the Alacha? He eats the Kadshim after eight days. Now, since in this case, the Mitzayra, is bivadai, so you do a tiglachas, seven days, another tiglachas, then all we need is 60 days for two potential tiglachios for the tamay, suffix tamay mace, because we don't know if he's tamay, and then you have to wait for the potential full mitzayra. Says the price, another case, mochlat suffix with tamay vadai. Yeah. If we're not sure if he's a Mitzayra, but we know he is to me, So again, So now you can eat Karbanas after 37 days. Because since we know Bivadai is to me, that's going to be the seven days. So that's going to be the seven days. After 74 days. And finally, a third case, says the Gemara, Tamei vadai, umochlat vadai, if they're both for sure, then Eichel bekashim, lachar shemayne yamim, v'shesi yainim, tamei lamesim, lachar baim v'yar ba yam, after 44 days. And as everyone could anticipate, that uh, comes out a little bit, I don't want to call it ironic, just unique, that a suffix obviously requires more to be yaitse, all your points of your suffix, but once it's a vadai, it's easier to deal with. Says the Gemara about ten lines down. The first one in line is Arbav 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 Yamim Shalu Talmid Davas Ev Shimba Yochai. The Talmidim of Rashi asked Nazir Tayro Mitzayra Mahu Shegaleach Tiglach Achas Oilu Lekanu Lekan. Now we're dealing with the past week or so Nazir Mitzayra. How the two clash. 
you can't do the Tiglachas of Mitzayra while you're a Nazir. Why not? Because a Nazir is not allowed to shave. What if it's a Tiglachas Vadai of a Mitzayra, said our Mishnah? Then you could, yes, do it because that overrides the Isra of a Nazir. So the Talmudim ask the Eliger Rajbi, if I have a person who's a Nazir, he's Tar. No issues with Tamei Mace. And he's a Mitzayra. So he's shaving for his Saras. Can you kill two birds with one stone? Pardon the pond and the birds, because he's a Mitzayra, he doesn't have to bring the birds. But can he shave one Tiglachas and Oila for both? Amar Lahem responds, or Shimon Ber Yochai, Enoi Migaleach. Nope, it does not work. Amar Lama, the Talmidim, good Talmidim, don't just stand there. They want to understand. Apologies. They want to understand the words of the Rebbe. So he said, Rebbe, Lama, why? Amr Lahan explains Rajbi. Ilu zeligadov zeligadel, vzela havir, vzela havir. Yof atoyman. Says Rav Shem Bar Yochai. If everything was for the same purpose, if this was legadel, in order that the hair grows, and this was legadel, the hair grows. And if this was to remove the hair, this was to remove the hair, then he says to Talmidim, you'd be having a wonderful idea to do both Tiglachiyas together. However, explains Rav Shem Bar Yochai, Achshav, but in reality, Nazir is Lahavir. A Nazir shaves his head to remove his hair as he's done with his Nazirus, and he's becoming part of what we call quote unquote regular society. He's no longer a Nazir. But Mitzayra is Ligadel. But the reason a Mitzayra shaves his head is not to remove the hair. It's why? To let it to grow. What do you mean to let it grow? Because an Nazir has to shave his head two times. So the first shaving is so that the hair grows back, so that he can shave it again. So says Rajbi, the two are coming for counter purposes. So you can't kill two birds with one stone. So says the Talmidim, says the Talmidim, okay, I understand that when he shaves for the one more time. That I understand. One second, we're having issues here again. The fact that it doesn't work for the Mechalutai's confirmed days, I understand. Because like you just said, when a Mitzayra shaves, time number one is to grow the hair back and the Nazir is to remove. But why should it not work for the counting days? Meaning, the second removal of hair, which is to actually remove the hair of the Mitzayra, that the shaving should work for. Varm Lehem explained the Rajbi, If both of the shavings were before the throwing of the blood in the Mizbeach, beautiful. Ella, but says Rajbi, is that true? Mitzayra, Zafnei Zuka's Damim, and Nazir Zachas Zuka's Damim. And therefore, explains of Shimbar Yechai, it can't even work for the second shaving. But the Talmudim didn't give up. Veloi Tala, the Meitzaratai. I understand that it doesn't work for your Meitzaratai, Onezirusai, and for his Nazirus. But it should work for Saras and is Toma. Meaning, if we have a Nazir Tame that is shaving and a Mitzayra that is shaving, then the two should work simultaneously. Because then they're both being done at the same time. They're both being done before the Zrika Sadamim. Amr Lahan explains her Shimber Yechai, I'm sorry. Ilu Zalev Ne Bias Mayim, Vizalev Ne Bias Mayim, Yafat Aimrim. If they both were before the bringing, before the Bias Mayim, the Tvila, the immersion of the water, Givaldic. Ela Tame, when a Nazir Tame is shaving his head, is Lachar Bias Mayim, he has already gone to the mikvah. But Mitzay Razlev Ne Bias Mayim. So Amr Lai, the Heligan Talmidim. Of Rajvi continue, and the truth is, this is not really a continuation. This is really a reiterant of what we just said. 
It's almost like an Ike Diamri. Yofa Amri, Shlotala Loyla Me Sifroi. I Ulan is Yerusha. I understand it doesn't work for those. But Vitala Lame Chalutoi, Vitumasai. Tizeli Gadol, Tizeli Gadol, and Amr Lehen, no! Nazir, Tahar, Vuhu Mitzayra! Tizeli Gadol, Tizeli Havir! Vin Nazir, Tameh, Vuhu Mitzayra, Zelef Nei Biyas Mayim, Tizeli Achar, Biyas Mayim. So I guess, part of being a prerequisite of the Talmidim, of to be a Talmud of Shimbar Yochai, you gotta be resilient, never giving up! And the Talmidim kept their trying, but Lamaisa, even though they're both shaving, and we see something incredible, sometimes we're too black and white. Yeah, it's the same day and it's all the same. No, it's not. You can't always be Madame and Milsa and Milsa if you don't know the underpinnings of it. And explains Rajbi, there are different dinim, and therefore the two Tiglachas can't work for each other. We'll pick it up and finish the parak in the next year. B'siyato Dishmayo.